Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking again about iOS 16.2. Now this update keeps surprising. It's really, really great. I can't wait for iOS 16.2 to be out to the public. You will actually love this update. So in this video, we're going to talk about more features and more changes that are coming with iOS 16.2. We have some really interesting things to talk about. And of course, everything else that you need to know regarding this update. Now, before we get started and we talk about iOS 16.2 and all the cool new features that we have been able to discover with this update, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. I've noticed that most of you guys are watching my videos, even though you're watching them, you're still not subscribed to the channel. So please, if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting with the first change. So right there on the dynamic island, you can see the wave right there when you're playing music music in the background so basically they have brought back the hue on the way right there that had actually been muted with iOS 16.1 it used to be like this initially with iOS 16 then it was grayed out with iOS 16.1 and now is back with the latest iOS 16.2 beta 3. There is also a new animation here for lyrics under the music app. So if you're using Apple Music and you use lyrics, then when you show the controls, you will notice that there will be actually a different animation. The TV app on iOS has gotten quite a few updates and with iOS 16.1, it actually has gotten quite a few updates. And now when you're following a game or maybe just watching a game on the TV app, you will notice right here, there will be way more information regarding the game that you're following. So just head on to any game you're interested and down here, you will see a lot more information. And this right here is probably the biggest change with iOS 16.2 beta 3 and one of the top new features of iOS 16.2. Finally, you will get security responses updates on iOS 16.2. So this is what it will look like. So when you get a security update, it says iOS security response 16.2a. That means that probably there will be, of course, multiple security updates for a version of iOS. So in the near future, we'll most likely get security response 16.2b, c, and so on. So Apple actually now is pushing security updates to iOS and it just looks like the same as an update you go to general software update and this is what you will see and you can see right here it says also the description the rapid security response provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users and of course you can go ahead and install it from here when you tap install this is what you will see it will verify the security response and then install it on your device now the screen will look just exactly the same as the one when you're updating your device of course, you will have the black screen and Apple logo and the line that goes here, but it actually is very, very fast. It will install in a few seconds on your device. So of course, it won't take as long as an update, a regular update will do on iOS. And here's a really interesting thing. I really didn't expect Apple to actually allow us to do this. You can actually uninstall these secure responses from your device. This is really crazy. So you go to general, you go to about and then you go to iOS version and right here it will show your iOS version. This was of course here before and now you will also have the rapid security response section which will show you the latest rapid security response that you have installed on your device and of course all the build number right there and all the details. But what you will find right here is also a button to actually remove the security response. You tap right there and you can just go ahead and remove the security response from your device from here. Really incredible. I never believe that Apple will actually allow us to just basically downgrade an update, install something and upgrade on the device and then remove it. I don't know why they're doing this. Of course, if you have to install these security responses, you install them and that's it. I don't know why someone would actually want to remove them, but that's it. Basically, you can now downgrade and update on your iPhone. And now let's move on and talk a bit about the Freeform app. This is a new stock app that Apple has added to iOS and will come to your device as a stock app with the update of iOS 16.2. So here we have the app and let's just take quickly a quick look to some of the new features of this app. So by tapping here, you will be able to insert anything you want. Insert links, you can insert from the files app, 
scan the document and insert it directly here use the camera to take a picture and insert it into the document or maybe just insert a photo or video from your photo library like if you tap on the link right there it will show you this pop-up you can just paste a link here and insert it into the here into the app and of course you can resize it move it around it's actually really really cool it allows you to actually do a lot a lot more than you can think so if you tap here then you can go ahead and add sticky notes you tap on the sticky note you can edit it here of course you can change its color you can add the text change the text formatted right here tap on the three dots then you will be able to actually cut it duplicate it lock it maybe or add a description or change the style right here so you can copy the style to paste it on another sticky note it's really really cool you can also insert like different shapes so if we just go here and tap on shape you will see here a bunch of different shapes that you can actually install on any document like objects you have nature here food symbols anything you need you can just go ahead and add them from here to your documents on the freeform app so really really interesting app with a lot of new features i believe every ios user that needs these kinds of apps will find this very useful and of course will have all the features that they need and now let's talk about performance so when we talked about performance on the first video that i did on ios 16.2 beta 3 we saw that we had a, a slight drop on the single core score while we had a slight increase on the multi-core score so now here we have the new one this is right here beta 2 so the single core score is at 1886 and here's beta 3 1889 so now it's a slight increase on the single core score while of course the multi-core score for beta 3 is 5588 while on the single core score it's 5528 so a bit of increase there which of course makes this update look really really great of course performance is coming along and it's looking really good and now let's move on and talk a bit about battery life so if you have of course a newer device you will have of course way better battery life right here we have we're at 100 capacity so of course that should work really well but here we have a few of the stats here regarding battery life on ios 16.2 beta 3 so the last day right here you can see it's at about 19 percent battery right there we got 9 hours and 52 minutes on screen not bad there so here we have about 80 percent maybe battery and we have 6 hours and 34 minutes of course this is based on how what tasks you're doing on your device while well, using wi-fi or cellular of course not every day is the same and you won't get the same battery performance every day on your iphone no matter which ios software you have installed but it's looking good it's not that bad no like random drains or anything like that it looks quite stable so what's next in regards to ios 16.2 well you can expect the beta 4 to come probably on the 22nd of november usually apple is releasing nowadays updates on a tuesday so you can expect that update to come on the 22nd and then of course a few more probably another uh, another beta beta 5 then the rc version and then of course towards the middle of december we should see the public release of ios 16.2 which will most likely be the last update to iOS 16 for 2022. So that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.